This lesson is on adding integers. Here we're going to start with adding negative 3 to positive 5. And when I think about this, here's how I do it. I say I have negative 3, so that means I have 3 negatives. And then I'm adding to that 5 positives. So here I have 5 positives, so I'm going to draw 5 plus signs. Then I know that when I have a negative and a positive together, they equal 0. So I'm going to cross off each of my what I call zero pairs because all of those equal zero and I'm left with two positives. So negative three plus five equals two. Here we have two positives plus negative five. So we're going to start out with two positives and we're going to add to that five negatives. We can see here that we have two zero pairs, so those both cancel to be zero, and we're left with three negatives, so the answer is negative three. In this problem, we have negative three plus negative four. So we have three negatives, and we add to that four negatives. You'll notice here that we don't have any zero pairs, so nothing cancels out to be zero, so we're just left with seven negatives. So negative three plus negative four equals negative seven. We'll do one more example here. We have six negatives plus two positives. So negative six, I'll draw six negatives, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus two positives. And it looks like we have two zero pairs here, so those cancel to be zero, and we're left with negative four. So now let's look at all of the problems we've done. Negative three plus five was equal to two. Two plus negative five was equal to negative three. Negative three plus negative four was negative seven. And negative six plus positive two was negative four. And what I want to look at is what happens. When we have ne 3 and 5, negative 3 and 5, we add and we get 2. When we add 2 and negative 5, we get 3. And when we add 6 and 2, we get negative 4. You'll see that each of those, you had one negative sign and one positive sign. Here you have a negative and a positive, and a negative and a positive. When that happens, what you'll notice is you're actually subtracting. 5 minus 3 gives you 2. 5 minus 2 gives you 3, and 6 minus 2 gives you 4. When the signs are the same, negative 3 and negative 4, you'll notice that we added. Then we want to look at what was the outcome of our answer. When we had negative 6 and positive 2, we ended up with a negative 4, but up at the top, when we added positive 5 to negative 3, we got positive 2. You'll remember that when we added these, using our diagram, we had six negatives and five positives. And which did we have more of, the negatives or the positives? Well, we had more positives, and that's why our answer ended up being a positive two. On the last one, we had six negatives and two positives. So when we canceled out, we had more negatives left over, so our answer was a negative four.